It's your girl, Miss J. Talks with J. Thank you, everybody who subscribed, liked, and comment. Comment. I appreciate y'all feedback. It's really helping with the content. So, I dropped a video last night giving, like, my immediate uh, reaction to RBE ARP announcing Cassidy versus him at Harlem for Max Out. Now, I've thought about this a little bit more since the announcement. Cassidy versus him and Holla is basically selling both of their names. That's basically what this battle is. You're selling both of their names. Him and Holla has been on URL. Um one of the top performers, high, one of the highest viewed. Um, his brother show out is like a secret weapon for him. He's also on Wild and Out. And then Cassidy. Cassidy did Battle Rap before, and then he went into being a mainstream artist, and he had success with that. So that's what you're selling and marketing to the fans when you're talking about this battle what these guys have done what has Cassidy done throughout the years what has him and Holla done throughout the years because there's no real backstory there's no backstory to Cassidy and Hitman other than Hitman made comments after Cassidy battled goods about his performance aside from that there's no backstory to this battle Like, I hope Cassidy ha is really taking the time with this battle because you lost bad to goods and you lost badly to Arsenal. Like, you can't afford to keep coming back and losing the way that you're losing. I hope your bars are up to date also. Like, Hitman Holler's going to come back. He's going to give you that high energy, a great performance. And he could use the secret weapon being show out. But I got a feeling for this battle, he's not. He's not going to use the secret weapon being show out. He was going to go in there and talk his shit. Talk his shit to Cassidy for three rounds and win. That's what's going to happen. And actually, I viewed this as a tuna battle for him at Holler before. He gets in the ring with Geechee Gotti. Because that's, that's really what the fans want to see. They want to see Hitman versus Geechee Gotti. And I figure with Hitman being gone, he's going to take a tuna battle and then take Geechee. I still want to see Hitman versus Briggs. Like, I really thought that's what the announcement was going to be. Hitman versus Briggs. That would have been a hell of an announcement, too. Um, this is my thing. ARP maybe is knows more than the average fan knows to why he set this battle up. Now, my thing is, you're selling what they both bring to the game and what they've done. Now, if this battle isn't what you expected like you know the backlash that's gonna come if this battle's trash and then th this card is called it's called max out now i'm pretty sure arp dropped a bag for them and dropped a bag for this this uh max out event like i'm pretty sure cass got Anywhere from 75 to 100k for this battle. And Hitman maybe got 50k. This is just my, my thinking. This is the biggest. This is probably one of the bigger battles. And names for Hitman Holiday. That he probably is getting probably close to 50. Probably 50 for this battle. And if Cassidy's not getting 100k for this battle. He's probably getting at least 75k. So. 
like I, I like I said on Twitter, I think this battle is probably about 150k between the two of them. Now, I hope the battle lives up to expectations, and the return on this battle is good. Um. I don't see how you put them together, but maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I don't know something in regards to them, to Hitman and Cassidy, to why the battle was set up. But just like everybody else, I'm going to be tuned in for when this battle happened so I can see whether it was worth it or it was a complete failure. Like, that's just my... More so, an analyst analysis of it now, thinking about it a little bit more. So, yeah, that's all I really gotta say. But um, make sure y'all get y'all pay per view or be in the building for uh, ARP, RBE, Max Out, Cassidy versus Hitman Holler.